Hello everyone what's going on? Today we're going to talk about a free procedural glitter shader for Blender 2.9. Someone asked how to make a glitter shader, so we thought to make one for you, and release it for free, link in the description. The shader includes several simplified options to amend the material in several ways, but if you want to have a look to the shading nodes, you just have to click here. I'm not going to explain what's happening inside the nodes network, as the shader can be used easily from the simplified interface provided, however basically the core is a Voronoi node, that's used for the geometry of the glitter particles, this is then connected to a bunch of several color ramps and color mix nodes. Before we start don't forget to set up your render engine and environment. This is really key if you want your material to shimmer. The shader works in cycles and in EV as well. As we are previewing this shader in EV, we need to activate bloom and screen space reflections. For the bloom settings you want to fiddle a little bit. This depends a lot on the scale of your objects in the view and how much you want the effect to be visible. But let's see how to use the glitter shader and how it works on different objects. Please notice that these meshes are provided by Blender Keat and are not included in the file you download. The most straightforward setting is the tint. Just click on it and pick any color. The colors that work better are those with high saturation and brightness level. Then we have a slider for multicolor. This will mix the default colors of the glitter particles with whatever color you picked. If the slider is on one, it means that you are only seeing the default particles color. The rainbow setting defines an additional tint that changes depending on the viewing angle and can change the colors quite dramatically. Then we have holograph which adds a classic colorful reflection to the material. Rotation, define the orientation of the holographic reflection and can be of course animated as any other parameters here to get some cool retro shading effect. On the top part of the glitter shader we have density, this changes how much is the surface going to look rough while changing the amount of the glitter. The shape slider changes from a random pattern to something more tidy and aligned. It's useful to get some very interesting and different look especially when combined with the size slider, which is what is sound like. The final setting is an additional coating which adds a shiny glossy smooth layer to the surfaces. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and can make use of this shader. In this case please share your results and don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video click on the like button and as usual if you dislike the video please hit that dislike thumb twice. Ciao.